Ronan, my first question for you is, what is the promise of SuperQualm technology? Oh, thank you, Catherine. Uh, well, actually, looking back uh, in the LTE network days, when 256 QAM was introduced as the leap from 16 QAM to 256 QAM, it was already one of the key features of LTE Advanced. And it was even announced as uh, 4G. Uh, that was back then in release 12. Now think what would happen now when we leap from 256 QAM to 16K QAM which means going up from a constellation with 256 points to one with over 16,000 points. This leap can provide a huge boost in throughput, and it, this will be a major milestone achieved in the roadmap of next generation 5G and 6G. Zeroing in on one benefit in particular, how does SuperQualm technology relate to green networks? Well, as the modulation order scheme is increased, uh, the throughput is increased. And thus, for a certain amount of information bits to be transmitted, the transmission duration can be shortened, uh, thus allowing uh, earlier RF components shutdown. And this saves up uh, energy. And in other words, it increases efficiency, which translates to reduced energy consumption and uh, improved sustainability. And what are the operator network costs associated with implementing SuperQualm technology? Yes, um, current 5G base station components, uh, specifically components related to RF performance, are designed to meet 256 QAM for millimeter wave bands and 1K QAM for sub-6 bands. So in order to avoid a redesign and hardware replacement to support this leap and modulation, uh, that is a leap uh, to super quantum modulation, we have developed a set of sophisticated algorithms that uh, runs on the device side and can cope with existing base station hardware and still enable super quantum with its improvements. How can such a high order modulation as 16 qualm become operable? Isn't the required signal quality too high to be practical? Uh, if we look at current generation of uh, 5G base stations, they are strongly based on massive antenna array, uh, allowing diversity technologies. And this enables us to support higher order modulation by providing diversity gain per MIMO stream. And therefore, uh, it allows achieving a modulation as high as 16K QAM, but still at the field achievable uh, signal to noise ratio. All right, Ronan, thanks so much for talking with me today. Thank you, Catherine.